Okay, hello dear friends, good evening. And um, it's, a, it's a quiet evening, so I want to do this blah 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 over the video footage I have taken this afternoon. And uh, there is no real content in this video. And um, it's quite uh, boring and quite uh, not interesting. Some people may feel it relaxing, some people may find it just a, a wasting of time. So I warn you in advance, there is no real content in this video, so watch your time. And uh, sometimes I think we give ourselves some uh, some uh, extra time, extra relaxation, extra adult time, idle time, and uh, purposeless, no purpose time is actually very, very uh, important and very, very nourishing to our heart and soul. So this afternoon, I went to our local shop. Not really a local shop. And <laughs> this is called World Market, I think. It's, um, it's uh, a shop that uh, they have things from, uh, from all over the world. This one is from India and, uh, and some from... Uh, different part of the world, from China, from uh, Africa, from uh, um, Europe, from uh, Latin America, from all over the world. It's quite fun and interesting to see something so beautiful. And um, I'm always amazed how they sort all these uh, very unique, very different things, and put them, put them under one roof. And um, <coughs> I, <coughs> one of the thing in two thousand nineteen is that I want to live a simple life. I want to, I want to buy less things, and uh, if possible, not buy buy things, but still. When you see these fun and interesting things, it's really so tempting. And uh, <coughs> on the other hand, I am thinking, since I decided not to buy any extra things, I want to live a simple life, then there is a good reason for me to go to the shops, because I will not have anything of my possession not have anything, not not have anything of my possession. I will have uh, uh, less things of my own possession, but uh, I can feel the total freedom of seeing different things because I can spiritually own all these things. I do not need to put these beautiful things in my home and uh, make it uncontrollable too many things. But I can go to these shops to just uh, watch and, um, and appreciate. I don't know what uh, you think if you are from the retail industry, if you are from the, the products uh, um, uh, uh, sales, the 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 pro production industry. I must be the the least worthy customer because I go there and look around and enjoy and not buying anything. It's kind of a waste of uh, of your valuable uh, real estate opportunity. But uh, sometimes you have to think. It is very important to live a life that is sane, that is controllable. By buying a lot of things, 
by having a lot of things that is beyond your capacity, beyond your capacity of uh, of storing them, of displaying them, of putting them in the most respective way. You are giving them disrespect. Not only we are disrespect these things, we are disrespect the nature. It's kind of a double edge thing. We do not buy anything, then the economy will not run. If nobody buys, these products will have no value. Anything in the store, they may have a price tag, but they have no monetary value until they are sold, until somebody put money to exchange, to exchange this Tintam, to exchange this Arnold. Oh, this makes me so happy. So every time when I feel down, I go to these kind of shops. Bundaberg. Oh, this is so Australian. <laughs> yeah. And um, we, we have been to Bundaberg. I think, I think there is a distillery or something. Anyway, um, it's, um, it's an inconvenient truth that if we do not spend, we are not contributing to the society. And it's also an inconvenient truth that if we spend, we end up wasting these things. It is beyond my, my ability to think and process. And the only thing I can do is to take care of myself and to leave myself sane and comfortable. If I overspend, I get my life in trouble. I think I will produce more trouble to the society. I will be distressed. I cannot be a functional uh, workplace, a career person. I cannot be a functional uh, society person. I cannot function well at home in my family life, in my relation, in anything, it does not work. So our life is complicated and um, there is no right or wrong. There is no particular thing that you do is wrong or you do is right. It's all relative. As long as we have Einstein, Stein behind us, stood behind us and telling us everything is relative, we can put ourselves in a good state and be comfortable to live our life. And uh, going to these shops to relax, it's, uh, it's very productive to me. It's very productive for me. I relax myself and, uh, and it's uh, so beautiful because it's so beautiful. I, I have to make video to share with you. I know a lot of you could not come out and, uh, and a lot of you actually rely on maybe rely or maybe not kind of rely on this kind of video either from me or from other people the zest of life the everyday life and uh, it's uh, it's one of the one of my uh, soothing remedy for 
for uh, for distress, for depression. Sorry, depression is too big a word uh, for my stress, for my burnt out, and uh, I think uh, I make myself relatively sane is because I give myself time to do these useless things. So <laughs> I am just being silly. And yesterday I went to, uh, I went to um, grocery shopping to buy some vegetables. And one of the cashiers said, wow, your hair looks good. And uh, I was quite surprised and said, did you do it? Did you make it? <laughs> I said, it's age. When you get old, you win a silver medal. <laughs> so after this, uh, this shop, I bought some uh, cookies and, uh, and uh, etc., etc. I hope uh, uh, you have a wonderful, wonderful evening and uh, take care of yourself, relax, enjoy. Nothing is important. It's not important. You are more important than your job, than other people. Because if you are not good, nothing works. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Do do do.